what's up everyone I'm CD in Fury Games and this is a tutorial on how to download, install, and use Jazzme Mod Enabler for Spin Tires. Jazzme was created by John Soft and this is his genetic mod enabler. Now this allows you to enable and activate mods in multiple games but if you are like me I use this for Spin Tires to activate mods that are out of date and will no longer work in the current updated version of Spin Tires. Now for Spin Tires, I believe you can only activate mods that only end with the last staple 7Z or just 7Z. For examples, I'm going to pull up Blackwater Raceway map. Now this is on spintires.nl. But as long as the download file ends like this last staple 7Z, or here's a vehicle, which is not available in the workshop, it's on spintires.nl. But you can see this one just ends with 7Z. Now you have to go to www.uv.co.uk. I'll just leave the link in the description. In order to download Jazz Jimmy, now you will need to be a member to download anything off the site. Now once you're finished creating an account, come back to this page. And if you're a member already, you just go to download button here. You click it. As you can see, I already have it downloaded. Now it does give you a brief description on how to use it and how to install. So just follow these steps, but I'm going to walk you guys through it anyways. Now once you finish downloading Jazz Jimmy, you have to find it in your downloads folder. And Jazz Jimmy is right here as you can see. It's the zip file. All you have to do is drag it to your home screen, which I find is the easiest way. Then you right click, then you go down to extract here. And there you go. This is Jazz Jimmy right here. Now once you're finished extracting it, you have to go to your Spin Tires directory. The easiest way that I've found if you go to Steam, and if you're not a Steam member already, become a Steam member. Find Spin Tires in your library. Right click on Spin Tires, go down to Properties. And you want to go over to Local Files, then Browse Local Files. Now I don't need any of this anymore, so I'll just exit it. Now in order to install Jazz Genie Mod Enabler into Spin Tires, you open up the folder that you extracted here. I'll just pull this over here. And it's just simple. You highlight all these files, and you click and drag into your Spin Tires directory. As you can see, I already have done it, so I don't need to do that. Now once that is finished, you should be good to go. Now I already have a couple mods downloaded to show you how to use it. It's actually a pretty simple process. So I'll just move that over there. And here's my downloads file here. Now I downloaded Brute Terrors E350. So I'll just move this out to here. And I downloaded the Blackwater Raceway map. So I'll move this over to the home screen here. Now I got these mods from spintires.nl. Here's Blackwater Raceway. And like I said, as long as they end with the last staple 7Z or just 7Z, they should work for spin tires if they're the proper file type. All right, so I already have these downloaded. Now all that's left to do is extract the mods. You right click, then you go down to extract here. And as you can see, here's Blackwater Raceway. Now in order to open Jasmine, you just find it in your Spin Tires directory, and you left click, then this comes up, you just go to yes, and here it is. As you can see, here are some of the mods I already have activated. Now here's the confusing part for most people regarding maps. You don't put the whole file folder that you just extracted into the mod enabler. You actually have to open the file up until you get to the last file. That the map name and level as you can see is as levels blackwater raceway i'm just going to open this file up just to see if this is the last one as you can see it was the last one so i'll hit back so we just click on this file drag it over to jasmine mod enabler as you can see it's up here right now i'll exit this since i don't need it now jazz jimmy is a very simple program to use once you figure it out, all that is required for you to do is find the mod that you want to activate. You click on it to highlight it. Then you click on the right arrow. As you can see, a warning window popped up, but that is a good thing. That means you could activate the mod. If this window doesn't pop up, it means you cannot activate it. 
just go through your math folder and see if you put in the proper file. So I'm just going to hit yes. And as you can see, it's down here. So it should be there available to use. Now I'm going to put Brutier's E350N using the same process. You right click it. You go down to extract here. If you have it on your main window. I'll just drag this over to here and open it up. This is the folder you just extracted. And you open it up all the way until uh, the one before the media file. So you find this one, you click and drag it over into Jasmine Mod Enabler. I'll exit that. Again, highlight it. Click on the right arrow. And, and if this warning message pops up, you're good to go. Just hit yes. Then to close it, you just hit close. So just to prove to you that it works, I'll close this up and watch Spin Tires right now. As you can see, I got most of Blackwater's maps already. I'll just open up Blackwater Raceway and uh, select Root Tears E350. Where is it now? It's somewhere in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you can tell, I have a whole lot of mods. Now here's Root Tears E350. And I'll select another mod that's not available in the Spin Tires Workshop. Where is it now? Which is this UAZ, as you can see, it's not a UAZ. This is actually a Briegel's Garage's 6x6. This is Ben's, I forget what you call it. As you can see, this is current version of Spin Tires 030316. So I'm just going to go to Start Game and launch it. Now I'm going to fire Brute Tears E350 up and just go for a little tier just to show you guys that everything works fine. Now the one thing that I've noticed sometimes the add-ons are a little wonky especially for this as you can see it's starting to move. I'm not quite sure what the reason for that is but as you can see we are mobile and we're moving. This is Blackwater Raceway. Now I haven't I made one lap on the map so far but it's one of Blackwater's older maps it's pretty decent if you have a fast vehicle that is but as you can see I just loaded these two vehicles up to prove that they work all right so we'll swap over to the vents now uh, some of these attachments work like the truck attachment on this works and the fireproof exhaust uh, these are your these are your stock add-ons, but the custom add-ons don't seem to work. <laughs> but your wheels seem to work as well. But if you're running spin tires plus like me, you don't need all of these add-ons. As you can see, we are mobile in this awesome looking six by six. That just looks pretty great. So anyways, if this video was helpful to you, a like is much appreciated. And if you have any problems, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm here to help. So anyways, until next time folks, I'm CD Your Fair Games, and I shall catch you in the next one.